Well, hello everyone. I'm back in here and I'm going to walk this creek to some destinations. I'm going to try to make it back to that rock shelter that I think I discovered. But as I walk this out, all of it needs to be surface hunted. Just to give you a look, this is a just a wonderful area. And it's a lot of walking. So I should arrive at my destination within about an hour. It's quite a walk. Yeah, it surely is. Native American artifact. Yeah, there it is. The remnants of a bygone era. Yeah, this is all from gas and oil production, probably back at the time of Rockefeller by the looks of it. Yeah, Rockefeller did a lot of work here in Ohio. Yep, huge deposits of oil and gas, huge. This valley forks at this moment. That heads to the uh, rock, possible rock shelter that I want to explore and I'll be going up that way. But I'm, you know, first I'm gonna head up here now, I've been up here, but I want to show you this waterfall, and there's dumping. You see some junk. So. so, I've arrived at my first destination. Here's all kinds of bottles and stuff all the way down through there. So, people are throwing stuff out, dumping. So, as a backtrack, I'm going to hit all that. Right. Yes, I made it. So what I'll do is I'm going to circle around here, go all the way around this. That way I can come out on this other side and investigate and root around, right? Sniff around like an old beagle dog. All right, as you can see, it appears that there's a lot of iron oxide leaching out of this. Yep. Sandstone. Yep. This is awesome. Shoot, just the trip alone is worth the time. Another seven up. I really don't need any more of these. But this one's kind of different. It's got 7-Up up on the neck, too. I'm going to set it here. Check this out. It's flawless. I love these little emerald green jars. That's nice. Yep. I'd say I've got at least another one that looks exactly like this. So I'm out here with something decent today. I love these. See you. Spots like this are primed to get your own bait. There's little minis all over in there. Let's see if we can't see them. <laughs> as soon as I put that down into there, they all went up under this under the root. But they're in okay, just for geological purposes. I believe now I'm starting to see shale. Well, I'm back here to the destination. It's more magnificent than the other one. I'll take more uh, footage as I get closer. Yep. Just. <sighs> Amazing. Right there. Right there, and I can walk up these rocks here, kind of walk my way, and there's a, a little, I can go up through this too. There's a couple of ways I can get up into there. Yep. Amazing. I could just sit here and chill and just look at how magnificent this is. This is truly a... A wonder of nature. See you.
salt glazed crockery. This blue glass. Look at all the black cup reverse. <laughs> Jeez. That's nuts. Yep, right in there. All right, I'm in here. And I'm not seeing any sign. I dug around a little bit there. Yeah, not seeing, not seeing any sign. No petroglyphs. No bone remnants. No, no flint chippings. There should have been. There should have been heapings of flint chippings. Yep. So, yeah, it's going to be harder getting out of here than it was coming in. I was on my hands and knees coming up into here. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just going to ease on down on my rump. Let's see. But there's some rock formations way up there. That's a long ways and a hell of a climb, and I'm exhausted now. And I've got to get myself out of here and back to my vehicle. So that's a whole another day's adventure in rock formations to check out. But as I got down this creek, man, there's black up immersive all over the place. So I started looking all over. There might be a bottle right there. I'm not sure what that is. But check that out. That's a nice example of a like a preform, or is that like a scraper, really crude scraper? Because it's thick, but it's definitely native. Yeah, you know, so I've gotten a few finds out of here, nothing to brag about, but made by a human being at least 500 years ago or older. So up above me, right, there's a lot of good spots. Amazing. It's massive. Look at that. All one big massive quartz inclusion. That is just, that's the biggest I've ever seen. Yep. That's just amazing. If you're into rocks like I am, that is amazing. Man, heck of a piece of quartz there. Yep. On a logging trail or oil and gas, something like that. Yep. What it is, uniface and scraper, shafted. Never seen a plow within a wilderness setting, everyone, right here. Yep. You can see there's stuff exposed. So I, yeah, I started looking around. Looks like it might have a, a spur right there, too. Yep. Maybe that's some really kind of the crappy stuff. This ain't, I've seen better material. But it is what it is. Nice. Uniface in scraper. Or shafted. <laughs> Uniface in scraper. With a spur. Alright. Okay. Different spot here. This big hill is loaded. The first thing I find. Look at that beautiful material. Yeah, the Lucas Oxen right there. It's just a flake. They could have used it as some kind of a At first, I thought it was a shaft scraper. I really did, but it's not. I'd say that about one mile west of me is where I was this morning, down in these valleys and waterfalls and all that stuff. And yeah, this is all a really good area. So, well, anyways. Let's see what we have here. I think that's what I'm looking at. It's a notched point. Yep. Field grade. And that's what I'm thinking it is, too. It's a fish spear. Yeah. 
she's ground pretty good here buddy side notch yeah it's it's got the tip to it anyways I'll take it upper Mercer I'd have to say this here at least I'd say at least 4,000 years anyways not bad I'll take it everybody I've walked my rear end off today yeah, field grade point looks a little better from this side I guess I don't know because you don't see that big nick in it I can't tell if that was from a plow or just like maybe even a freeze pop or an impurity in the stone I don't know but nonetheless a side notch projectile point take it and look at that right beside a big old killer broken blade yeah it's loaded in here I, I pray they, they they plow this up they do I'll come out of here with like 10 points in one day I'll really do well here but I thought this was just a chunk so I yanked at it look at look at that that's a hell of an end scraper ain't it look at that Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh wow, man, that was unexpected. I mean, it kind of isn't because this is really good, right? But you know, this is freaking soybean stubble. They haven't done nothing with this, but it's great. Or I wouldn't waste my time. Right, I know how good it is. So that's why I come up in here and hit this. Even though the conditions are shit. It don't matter. Oh, look at this. Yes. That's some translucent too. Oh, yeah. Look at that freaking material. Take it two points, all right. Um, hardly any grinding on that, if any. It's, uh, I'm thinking it's a side notch, I guess. Another one. Yeah, yeah, everybody, I love that material. It's almost like honey colored. That's fantastic. I've seen better points, but it's the material, everybody. That's a pretty, that's pretty stuff. Yep. All right. That's where I kicked the ground to mark, you know, so I wouldn't lose my place where that point was. Right behind it, right over here, within four feet of it on the way back through in scraper. Can you believe that? <laughs> yep, uniface in scraper. See ya. Look at that, everybody. That thing there would have been a month maker. Oh my god. They're in here. They're in here. I've never found one full out of this field ever. This this isn't the first one I've seen like this in here broken. That's a fact. Over the course of the years. I've got my feelings hurt in this field many and many a time. Many a time. Damn. Another heartbreaker. That's the bit end of a mind-blowingly awesome Flint Ridge Flint Celt. If it's not that, it was something great. <laughs> oh. See ya. Look at that freaking midsection. Pumpkin orange, red, yellow, blue. You can see there's fire popping. It's midsection, something. It would have been a hell of a piece. Damn. I got a hell of a nice fashioned end scraper here. Are you going to face that scraper made out of upper Mercer? That's not damage. Can you see that? 
That's a fl fast lane version. Yeah, if you're on the side of that, right there, it's really bright out. I can't see it well, but that edge right there is going to be really nice. I want to get work there on that. It looks like I got a pretty decent blade on the ground there. Shallow notched, side notch, made out of a, a mix of glossy black and that grainy grayish chert. It's a low grade material for this area. Uh, yeah, I think this is what you would call a fish spear point. And it does have some grinding. It's very smooth back here, as you can see. I think both these points were resharpened, everyone. As you can see, the notch has been sharpened right off. Mm -hmm. Both of these. Which is kind of odd for my area. I don't find a lot of resharpened points. I don't. If I went to northern Ashland County, Richland County, southern Huron County, I'd find lots of blunts, lots of reworked points, a lot of resharpened points. Here, not so much. So to find two of them in one day that was resharpened, kind of unusual. And then it has this either a nick or like a fossil or a pop. I don't know. But I really don't think that's from being plow struck just by the way it looks. Could have been like iron in the stone that leached out over time because this this is at least 4,000, I'd say four to 6,000 years, middle archaic. So, all in all, really, that's a pretty nice point. Yep, because of the age, it's an older point. All right, this point also has been resharpened. Can you see that? This side. The blade actually sticks out farther than the base. On this side, on the other hand, either due to use, wear, or a resharpening process, and that's what it looks like, they took off an edge to it. Mm -hmm. It's made of a really high quality um, translucent material, uh, similar to Vanport. It could be a, a type of a Kashak and flint, but I'm leaning towards a, a flint ridge material that's really high quality. Mm -hmm. And it's been resharpened. You can see that it's Yep, they took this edge off of the blade. That's a nice point, everyone. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be seeing you.